people know that you love the weather and you love yes. to study the skies for your forecast. But now you're going to take us through the sky, aren't you? Oh, absolutely, Beth and CJ. Many of you have been jolly driving along Santa Barbara's coast near Ealings Park and you see these big parachutes in the air. Well, I wanted to know what that was, too. It's called paragliding. Now let me take you up in the air. Paragliding is the easiest way to fly as a human being. A sport catching the attention of people all over the world. And right here at Ealings Park in Santa Barbara. This is the one year anniversary of recovering from a motorcycle accident and one year since we were officially, officially dating. dating. <laughs> I joined the Lovebirds and a 12 year old to learn from some of the top instructors in the world what it's like to have wings. I learned from a local legend named Tom Truax and he had me come on and start teaching with him and next thing you know I was out here teaching so I've been teaching out here for 18 years. But before we can take the leap, we start with the basics. And clip in there. Your instructor might run over there, you gotta follow them wherever they go. What we're doing there is we're helping you keep your glider straight. It sometimes wants to turn and we can steer it by what we do with our feet. I'm nervous, I'm terrified, but I'm also thinking this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> taking test runs first on the ground. Keep coming, Meredith, keep coming. Learning how to maneuver, which is like using a steering wheel to make turns. This hand, lean forward more, drive it, Kai. And when the wind is just right, a pep talk before going airborne. So here we are, we're facing this direction. Okay, we're gonna get on our final approach, fly straight. And in just a few minutes, I'm gonna have the best view in Santa Barbara using this thing to fly from here all the way down to the bottom of the hill. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. For some, the first time flight is a little scary. It does take a little bit of balls, <laughs> a little bit of guts. For others, it's just hanging around. <laughs> okay, okay, man, still great, still great, still great. Keep that break right there. Hands up a little, you don't want to go deep, remember? Just cross your legs and keep those hands right there. And try to relax and enjoy this moment. That's right. Beautiful. Let's do it to the right. And I'd like you keeping a little bit of that left break yeah. on, not that outside break we talked about. That's one of those. And easy. Let's go back to the left. Let that thing turn nice and smooth. And easy. A little more left hand. Relax those arms. A little more left hand. A little more. There you go. Sometimes you got to pull on that thing so it can turn. I'm going to press straight right there. And then we're just going to be going straight towards the target from there. There you go. Keep some break on. And I'll be ready to flow in three feet. Yeah. Most people who see it just can't believe it once they come to the park or how easy it is. It was so cool. I can't believe I was flying. That was the best part. I felt like I was flying like a bird. And when I was up there, I wasn't terrified anymore. It felt natural. I just had some wings. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Mm hmm it's fine, but I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I needed to take a little a break. Not me. I'm heading back up into the air. <laughs> oh, what so a great experience. <laughs> oh. Boy, that looks like And fun. we're all flying really with is. you. You've got to take direction well, right? You have to, but I just said it's like driving a car. If you pour it to the right, you pull it to the right, it goes right. If you yeah. go to the left, it goes left. You go straight, you go straight, but listen to the guy because so you don't end up over the ocean. Absolutely. All right. Thanks all right, for taking thanks. all of us along. Oh, I'm glad fun. to bring you guys. <laughs> great.